All right, well, we have a very, very special uh, Maps Rainmaker Q&A and Acceleration webinar. Um, super special guest, uh, Donnie Gamble right here with me personally. Um, that gives us not one, not two, but three people uh, on this webinar who have done well over a million dollars in affiliate sales of, of gold and, and other stuff as well. So we have a lot of, uh, a lot of authority on here. Uh, um, Donnie, I, I'd say, I was saying in the post uh, and email, Greg, that, uh, you know, of course, we've worked with some other great SEOs over the time, but the, the one person who I, you know, you know, hear you bringing up that you, you know, gain from learning, you know, some SEO stuff, but also more stuff about conversion and, you know, uh, a different route with things is Donnie, which is, you know, coming from you, you know, that's obviously a huge deal. I know, Donnie, you, you, you've loved working with Greg when we had Donnie. I got to pull this up for everybody at OMG Live. Uh, I, I posted, oh, I, I can just do it in the Facebook group. That's easy. Um, I'm going to share my screen here and let's jump into the Fusion uh, Facebook group. So this is this is where we're going to be having our uh, feedback. You can post right here. Uh, give me a uh, give me a hashtag Dangerous Donnie in the uh, in the uh, pinned. Uh, it's not really pinned, but anyways, it's the top post in the Facebook group, and we have this great picture of. Uh, Mohammedy and Donnie and Cassie from yesterday. And actually there's a commemorative PDF uh, for those of you that are on live in the handouts section. So you can you can grab that. And then I, uh, oh boy, was the webinar by the way with Megan Lee and David Mills yesterday. So incredible. I'm actually gonna put an embed of it in the uh, in the members area. So this, I, this is one of my all time favorite pictures basically overall in life. I just, there's something about this uh, this moment in time. This is from, OMG Live um, in 2018, the last kind of official OMG Live that we did. And uh, this is after Do Donnie was the first speaker. And when he came off the stage, he was Mr. Popular to say, uh, to say the least. And people got so much out of it. Um, and so having uh, Donnie as a part of our community, uh, he, uh, at one point he did a kind of a, uh, a half coaching, I would say. Uh, of his own, it's called Commission Conspiracy. People absolutely loved it. Uh, and uh, Donnie's been such a great and positive, beneficial influence uh, over uh, uh, with Rainmaker. Uh, so I thought we'd, we'd invite him on. He's only in Miami for a couple of days. He's been traveling the world. And we're gonna be looking over uh, uh, our template that uh, Mohammed is working on. And, and uh, Donnie and Mohammed were able to meet uh, kind of extensively yesterday and Mohammed showed uh, Donnie some of the plans that he's been working on for the template. So we're gonna be all here together and able to discuss that. So this is kind of a, an extra special one. We have several hashtag dangerous Donnie. We've got the danger zone from uh, from Jason Calori. Uh, awesome, this is, this is gonna be a truly uh, awesome event today. Uh, so what I wanted to do is hand things over uh, a little bit here. I'm, I'll end my screen share. And uh, Mohamdi, why don't you start talking about you know, the initial ideas that you've had. I know you've been going back and forth a little bit with Greg. Greg showed you a website. Uh, yep. You talked to Jason, and then yesterday you talked to Donnie. Um, yep. What uh, you know, What are your current beginning thoughts? And uh, if you want to pull up your screen and share us, you know, your yep. your initial thoughts. And then I'd like to you know just take some time here um, and really have this just be focused on the website, on the affiliate website. Uh, that's really one of the uh, breakthroughs, Greg. That was when you started using Thrive uh, a lot more was uh, when, when Donnie showed you that. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. For, um, before Donnie, I didn't really have a process for like making my sites look good. It was more about, always about ranking. And then when Donnie gave me the process for Thrive Architect and then the article templates kind of was a game changer for me. Yeah. So I was wow. just too lazy to, you know, get a process down. And we sure, I was like, man, it's so simple. Why didn't, why haven't I been doing this? And I had all these sites out there that look like crap and just kind of have crappy content. What I really needed to do was get a system in place, which Drive Architect gets someone to make it look good, and then have an article template to make sure the art, you know, the content you're writing is uh, structured well, so when it does rank, you convert, and that was definitely a game changer for me. It's amazing, I, I absolutely yeah. amazing. How, how did you arrive at, uh, at both of those things? At the, the, you know, the look and feel of your websites, and then we actually, you know, this is a, uh, you know, essentially an add-on to our Terminator workshop. Just so you guys know, we're gonna have two, I believe two episodes, the two final episodes of the Terminator Workshop. Terminator 2 and Terminator 3 are gonna be, I believe, Thursday and Monday. Uh, so it's gonna be a really, really exciting uh, 
uh, close out, we'll, we'll uh, probably wrap things up with uh, traffic tsunami and director's cut registration uh, a week from today, Monday. Um, so Donnie, how, how did you go from, because of course, you know, your first website, I'm sure looked crappy like everybody else's. Yeah. And, and I'm sure your, your first article ordering was crappy like everybody else. Yeah, so for me, it's, I really just started with like the USP, what, what's my unique selling proposition? Um, so for me, like starting in the go, I think it was like 2014, 15, mm -hmm. uh, with another go company. With Regal, like, yeah, which we, and we yeah. talked about Regal, yeah. yeah. So I was seeing what everybody else was doing. I was like, okay, how can I just um, take what people are, everybody else is doing and making it better? Because I want to stand out and I want to like, for me, it's like being in the gold industry, you can either make a lot of money like for a year or you can make a lot of money for the next 10 years. So I was trying to position myself as an authority site and trying to like, uh, make make money over the lifetime of the. And that was your first big big breakthrough site. That, that uh, yeah, I would probably say yeah. It was uh, and Jason actually helped me a lot about that. But um, we actually worked at the same agency together and. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, we worked at the same agency together. Wow, and, and that's I had how no met. idea. Yeah, that's how me and Jason met. That's the craziest yeah, thing. Yeah, because I owned the agency with uh, another business partner in Orlando, and then we brought Jason on to do conversion optimization for our clients, and wow. then we developed a relationship, and then. Uh, Jason actually discovered the Go industry actually because he was like one of the first original. Affiliates. Oh yeah, J yeah. J Jason was the first person who brought us in on uh, on Regal. Well, it was Kelly, Kelly, uh, Kelly, and, and Tyler were. Actually, I think us. Jason was before Kelly. Cause, uh, yeah, because Jason actually helped like Tyler create the entire program from scratch. Did you really? I, I think I was like the first uh, ID or whatever, first affiliate ID or something. Um, yeah. So. Wow, this is this is some ancient <laughs> history. I, 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 so what, what Donnie, what Donnie <laughs> did was like he brought like a heavy hitter uh, site, like like with content too. Like there was kind of this like hodgepodge thing going on in the affiliate niche, the gold niche, and he brought kind of like design. It just looked almost like a published book, like just really well put together, a uh, great filling site, and and wow. just converted. So. Um, yeah, I just brought everything up to uh, another level when when Donnie entered the niche. So, you know, um, we, we did we did a, uh, in the Terminator first episode. Uh, Greg uh, really revisited your your writing templates, and then we had a whole follow up uh, last week or two weeks ago with Megan Lee on that. Um, how did how did you arrive at your your content structure, and how did you figure all that stuff out? Yeah, so for me, like I said, it's uh, USP. It goes back to my USP, and then also studying your competitors and sort of like. So I like study Nerd Wallet. I study like some of the other Motley Fool. You study like their structure because if you think about their type of business model, they invest millions and billions of dollars in conversion optimization. So like you follow the trend of what they're doing, and then you like make it your own in terms of like the content structure and the layouts. And then from there, you just like optimize and test different things, and then you find something that works, and then you just repeat it all across the uh, all across your website. Unbelievable! So, Absolutely yeah, unbelievable. Yes. All right. Well, great, uh, great guys. Uh, Mohammed, do uh, why don't we have Mohammed yeah. pull up? Uh, and and uh, with your discussions, I know that you've been influenced by uh, Jason Clory on this. I know you've been influenced by Greg, and now you're able to sit down and show uh, Donnie some of your mobile designs. We didn't get to see the desktop because, of course, we yeah. were at the restaurant and everything like that. But what? Uh, that was yeah, go go for it, Mohammed. Get. Uh, can Can you guys see my screen? Uh, yeah. no, you're not. Yet, okay. let's make let's you the presenter. Okay. Here we go. Boom, main screen. There it is. Can you guys see my screen? Yep, yep. we see it. Beautiful. So, uh, like, uh, well, like, uh, Greg, I, I got a, um, I was on a conversation with Greg, and he gave me this uh, website as you know, homepage that have pretty much like great insights as far as a layout for a goal of the, uh, gold affiliate website and also with a uh, conversation with Jason and going over his template that he shared with me as well we decided to uh, to put like pieces together also like just with the main idea we are like really advancing design and and layout and making things look good but as far as conversion optimization just for speaking to Donnie yesterday a little bit kind of give me like uh, insights as far as you know how much we need to improve as far as conversion conversion optimization goes. And, you know, I'm blessed, super blessed to have, we are super, all super blessed to have Greg, Jason, and Donnie in this webinar. So what okay. I did was just from, um, 
the insight we have gotten from uh, best Go, uh, Go IRA investment companies that Org that Greg shared with me, just use the different pieces to build a page up. And this is just uh, like the design. We do the design on Figma.com, just layouts, and we put this design where, together. What do you do? Figma is what you're using? Okay, got it. So yeah. Figma yeah. is uh, kind of a design That's website it. that helps designers? So. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much like we do everything from, you know, just the sketching and then the layout, you know, putting things together. And then we start to turn it into the development phase and we develop everything from there. But we have the development version, the developed version also ready. I'm going to share, share that with you also in a bit. For just listening to Donny right now, he mentioned something interesting as far as making a website look like uh, an authority website. Right. And. I think design is a, a, a major portion of that. And what we did was, okay, what, what do people want to see when they come on the authority website, right? They might want to see stats about the market, like, and Danny even gave me some insight as far as, you know, Don Jones, this is a commodity website, not a small a, a stock website. Why don't you put go, uh, gold, silver, like That's auto smart. purchase middle prices update, right? So I was like, oh, great, definitely, we're definitely going to do that. And then, the, like, the next section that we did was pretty much following the layout that Greg provided, listing gold, giving gold investment now, companies. We, we skipped past the, uh, the authority. Uh, th there were a number of, um, there's something in between this and the header that I think we kind of yeah. skipped past. Uh, so if we yeah. go back to that. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh you, you flipped up the site. I understand. Yeah, I, I, I flipped the site. You went back to the previous site, okay? Because yeah, I was curious why you, you you set up the Gold Co, Augusta uh, Precious Metals, like this yeah. this whole listing down here. Yeah, it's pretty much following uh, Greg's uh, Greg's uh, suggestions. You know, we have like the Gold Investment Company reviews, and here's like I was having a conversation back and forth with. Uh, with uh, the team as far as conversion pieces, and I know Greg would be the best person to ask those insights. You know, when people come to the website, I was telling Danny also, hey, if the easiest, the faster to go to Gold Co or any of those websites, the better for us. But at the same time, we feel like we want to give them some insights that would influence their decision, mm -hmm. right? So from listing these, these are reviews. If you click on each and every one of these, you're going to see a full blown review of Gold Co which is pretty much similar to what we're gonna, what is on here. This is the Gold Co website, I believe. Mm -hmm. I definitely like having the, the review snippet. Um, the only right. thing I wonder about is, is uh, if they almost look, you know, when, when you see these um, these three icons, if you flip back to your website, do you think it's okay. gonna be completely, uh, yeah, if we went, yep, okay. So as we get here, Donnie, as you're mm -hmm. looking at this, do, do you feel like people are gonna instantly know, okay, great, you know, these are reviews of, of gold programs or does there did there need to be something to kind of explain to kind of transition oh uh, what the the reason why grace works so well because he had a little bit of content above the um above those actual reviews so like this website is just going from a header to like the reviews if you had like some content some introduction yeah content. let's let's pop, pop back to what greg what greg had uh, uh, this one here yeah so this so this adjoinder um text Donnie, you're saying that yeah. That's so basically, really like, it's like an overview of what you're about to learn about the page, and that's that's what like gives the customer, okay, I'm in the right place, and then you provide the companies afterwards. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So interesting. So that, that's going to be a lead in. And is there something? Of course, you know, we'll address the text, and you know, we'll we'll get with uh, Megan and and the guys, you know, uh, over time to figure out what mm -hmm. to say with that text. But are right. you know, are there some keys that we'll want to have kind of graphically, you know, because Greg's site's a little bit basic, I would say here. Basic works, doesn't it, Greg? Basic, <laughs> basic works really well. Yeah. So, so, do, so, okay. So, so then let's flip it. Let, let's uh, go back to Mohammed's site. This is a fantastic, mm -hmm. Because you, have, you have to think. So, with this industry, you have to think of your demographic and your audience, right? Yeah. So like the demographic is probably like 65 plus men. That's conservative. So, like, mm -hmm. I tried the flashy stuff. It doesn't work with this niche just because they're like older people and they they just want to get to the information fast. So, like. The faster you can get the information communicated to them and make it easier for them to dissect it, click on the links, and then the link after they click on a link, those landing pages do the work for you because those are already optimized by the different companies 
to like, right. the, like yeah, Greg says that that um, when he does this review format, um, which I, I think it's also something that you influenced uh, us on. Although Greg's done reviews for a long time, it's you know both. But Greg said that people will actually click on at least two gold companies uh, almost every time, which is yeah, pretty much the top two, and then the three of like probably like maybe five to ten percent. I could be wrong, but like that's what I've seen from my numbers. Great. Like the top two companies, they normally you get like it's just like Google. Like think about Google, the top result is going to get more than the second result. Like right. so, that's how you think 100%. about it. Reviews. And it's um, I, I to, oh, okay, go ahead. Oh, well, I was going to say uh, for context, if uh, for somebody watching, like this isn't like a twenty dollar purchase. This is like a fifty thousand or even a million dollar purchase. So somebody's yeah. going to like really inspect these companies before they buy. Yeah. Like they're going to maybe read every word. On the review, 100%. and uh, so, yeah, so they're they're like meticulously going through picking out a company, looking at the, the fees and whatever. So, mm -hmm. um, Greg, uh, Greg, what are you saying? Make sure you guys are affiliated to these other companies. I had already given you guys the links because mm -hmm. August, I, I currently have a half million dollar deal that's almost finished with them. And so I got uh, four <laughs> qualified leads for them in April, and then four qualified for Birch, which are all being worked on now. So. Although oh, wow. I did thirty thousand commission for Gold Co., there's a lot of leads still going to Augusta and Birch. Um, so, especially your top three should be Gold Co., Augusta, and Birch, in my opinion. I, Regal, I don't even know if I would include them if I were you. Yeah, I don't think I've done some people dirty right now. Uh, but, but not I think that's a good top three right there. What you're seeing. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, so let's go back to the the very header of this site because now now I realize that we mm -hmm. kind of blew past that. So okay. So, so this feels like, based on what you guys said, that this header is probably not overall going to work. Like we'd have to do this like a very different way because, like, this isn't necessarily what. Or I mean, also, I was thinking about Mahani. Mahani, could you pull up, pull up your agency website for a second? Sure. So this is uh your uh, the media services one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, th so this is Mohammadi's, um, uh, you know, for his, for his agency set. And I, I like that there are people that it's a different market. Right? So I'm not saying the same thing, but there's something about like, to me, like I would want, and of course it would be a decision. Like I, I don't think that 65 year old conservatives, you know, probably want to see, you know, uh, text popping up at other people. It's very impressive, especially for, a, um, for, you know, if you're a web designer, you're kind of, showing off you know flexing a little bit which i think is cool but the reason i had you pull up this site is there's mm -hmm. something that to me is quite welcoming welcoming about it and as i'm looking at this gold site the, the our first version um there's something about that stock photo of, of gold that now i'm really wondering about you know if, if that's really a right approach or if there's something more solid either having mm -hmm. we're going to have a, a picture of, of in, the, in the head of graphic should it be people because it's like that's who's coming to the site is that 65 year old you know, conservative. So, so Mohammed, uh, look at the yeah. site on mobile. You know how to make the site look like it's on mobile? Oh, uh, which one? The uh, the one that you built. Oh, uh, this <laughs> this website. Yeah. 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 It's, it's it's super mobile friendly. Let me just pull it out. Oh, here. This looks like on mobile. This is actually. A, let me just uh like kind of. I think it's like uh control click and then you can uh, see what it looks like on mobile. Control click. Let's see. Because you have to view the source and then it uh, has the mobile. Uh, okay. Let me what it looks like on mobile. There's an app for this too. We should we, we should have this. Luke Luke uh, McGuire has yeah. an app. It shows what mobile looks like on it. What mobile looks like? Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. That. Oh no! It's just sending. That's not it. A lot of time I would just where, uh, where, where would he write to reduce it. Oh, like you know when you can do the uh, you can view the source page. Uh, view the source code, like view the source code. Yeah. It's Maybe like it's like control. Control, control. Hold on, it's like Jason. Do you know what it is? You have like, yeah, it. it's right here. And then there's a little phone next there. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that's what this is what the site looks like on mobile, right? So like right. when you yes. land on it, it's like mm -hmm. no information about what you're gonna like learn or. So like I like to have everything above the fold in terms of like b before somebody scrolls down a page, you want to provide them with the information of what they're about to uh, learn. Okay, so so okay. we really want text up there. 
Now, is there a way that we want to dress that text up? Do we want any pictures or do you really want to get into text? Oh, I don't really like images at the top just because, like I said, it's taking up that be above the fold space. And like, I actually changed my design. So like, depending on the user, uh, that's mm -hmm. why I like Drive Architect is like, you can actually um, display different things on mobile and desktop to different, like based on where they're uh, browsing from, which makes like, that's why I, I love Thrive Architect. Mm -hmm. So, so, uh, so Mahomny, what we're definitely going to want you to have a look at Thrive Architect. I think that that's going to uh, matter in this. You can actually create templates on Thrive Architect, and then you can just upload them to Thrive. And, and oh, do they, okay. And do they have to have Thrive? Does our end customer then have to have Thrive? Yeah, yeah. And what does Thrive cost? Uh, what is it? Ninety nine a year, Greg? I think ninety nine dollars a year. That's very doable. Um, yeah. Or they're more than that now. It depends on how many sites you get with it. Um, I think the, I have two plans at twenty five sites, which I think is maybe one sixty a year, something like that. I don't know. Okay. You can get like five, yeah. yeah. So I mean, five uh, sites uh, really thrive architect is something we're going to want to look at just with with Donnie and and, and Greg both okay. using. And I think that that's going to make like like be a big difference maker. Not and this is not part of what you're getting. Yes, we're doing a deep dive on gold and it's exciting, but but we're learning affiliate principles here. You know, we've talked about how there's a 90% crossover between uh, uh, mm -hmm. SEO for your um, agency, SEO for affiliate, which is a lot of what Greg and, and Donnie do. Of course, Don, uh, Greg still has the agency, and they, they you see that the overlap. And then of course with e-commerce, but we're uh, a lot of what we're looking at right now is uh and, and mahani's uh, kind of flipping around on on thrive architect um yeah. okay so, so so donnie what you're saying is we we just take we're either going to take this out this gold picture altogether, or move it down the page uh now now are you a fan of using some some images uh further down on the page yeah yeah it, to make the user experience a lot of it i use i like to use images after i like show all of my reviews like because so you're gonna have some basic information like what is the gold so, ra Go to our benefits, and then you can put the images in that section. This is sick. Inside. One of the websites that I also looked at was uh, Investor Insider. Yeah, let's look oh, at this. Invest, investor. Let me see. Investor. Is Business Insider what you're talking about? I think it's Business Insider. Oh, Investor yeah, business, business Insider. insider. And that's it, yeah. Investor Insider. And I looked at pretty much like, okay, the page, the welcome page, for instance, is something like that. Would, Why would they have AdSense been? at the top of their page? Because they make money off of advertising. Holy cow. This yeah. is all like traffic. It's wow, traffic that's place. sad. No, they're making a lot of money. It's not sad. Yeah, okay. it's, it's, I mean, it's, I it's crazy. crazy. Like Forbes, I mean, like Forbes they, they're an advertising company. Like they make money from advertising. Well, oh, okay. No, the, the one I was mentioning is, um, it's actually Investor Insider. Let me see here, here, here. The Investopedia. Yeah, and here one of the things that I saw they didn't have a header, and I was like, mm -hmm. it's look, it's a very authoritative site, right? So the header portion that are like the main reason why I like always like to go with header is that okay, this is a welcome, a welcome, well, it's a, a welcome page that give you like a well, like um, a welcome feeling to the website. Hey. We have everything in order here. Just yeah. scroll down. But we may need to, to, we may need to, to get access to. Yeah, but like, especially with this gold niche, we're, we're mm -hmm. either going to just have to like move that down the page, or yeah. or there. But but that doesn't mean we can't have a question. Is there a way that we can accomplish a little bit more, make things look a little bit nicer, like spruce them right. up a little bit? Like one of the things I like, um, uh -huh. you know, I, I think it's smart. You know. The, um, let's play off of this newsish thing that Donnie, you know, talked about, like having, you know, having it mm -hmm. feel like it's a real news site. And Jason Clory and I have been talking about this a lot. We're going we're, okay. we're to be getting into crypto here because uh, mm -hmm. Kelly's company, Goldco. Yeah, Clone IRA. Yeah, they're starting with th that, which is going to be huge as well. Um, so it's mm -hmm. going to open up a lot of keywords. And I, I really like the idea yeah. of the site looking like a news site, but that may be BS. Like, like what, what are your thoughts on kind of the mix between having the site appear to be, because what, what are the options? Like either this is kind of a boutique site owned by, like mm -hmm. you're the conservative guy coming to the site, you know, the 65 right. conservative yeah. guy. And he gets to the site, like what do you want the perception to be like? Like this is like a, a boutique news site or this is 
Like what, what, what would so, you say they want to feel? So my opinion is there's two trains of thought, right? You can go very niche to specific where it's like just focus around blood RA, like that's a lot of what Greg Morrison talks about. And then like my motto has always been diversify. So I actually talk about like rope, anything from robo advisors to retirement planning. So mine is like a little bit more broader and that's very like authoritative with more like you can get into uh, other industries, other niches. I don't just like, focus on gold RA, I focus on a lot of other affiliates. Now, now this is also, uh, just so you guys know, Donnie's approach is put put your eggs all in one basket and watch that basket very carefully. Uh, like in terms of like, you're typically developing like one really good website at a time. Yeah, yeah, one. And yeah. really focused on yeah. it. It's, uh, Greg has an approach that, that first of all, suits his personality really well, but it also, mm -hmm. it's a very complimentary thing actually. It's really wonderful that we have each of them and, and they're, they really have a different kind of focus and specialization. Greg is using mini sites um, to spot keywords to, to, to then dive in on. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's part of his approach and it allows him uh, to do a lot more stuff that's just really, really helpful and beneficial for uh, you know, members of our uh, Rainmaker community and traffic tsunami community, director's cut and so forth, because he has so much data. But, but Donnie, the way you're doing it is you're building like one authority site at a time, mm -hmm building it up, making it really successful, and then selling it for a huge payday. Yeah, if I want to sell it. I don't think I want to sell it. Oh, this time this time he's too jealous of it. He, want, he wants it for himself. No, no, I just see like the trends, and, and especially like before we didn't have crypto, right? Before it was just go to our age, but now it's like the crypto space. And then there's a lot of other opportunities on the horizon that I'm excited about, like it's like making money off of interest with like crypto savings accounts. So there's a lot of opportunities in the space to make more money. Um, and just to throw it out there, so the the way Donnie does his sites, where they're authority and more, you know, they're bigger sites and more general. In the end, you you would rather have that, right? Because you can rank for more terms, you can make more money. But I think we have a lot of beginners here, and I want you guys to know if you go that route, you're gonna it's gonna be a bigger investment because since you're a little more general, you got to build more authority, so it's gonna take more money to put into the project. Just keep that in mind. Of course. Mm -hmm. In the end, if you once you get that authority site, it's ranking for everything. That's the way to go. But I think a lot of people can't go that route yet. So just be aware of that. Yeah, I, I think that this um, this kind of uh, approach that we have, where you know, we're really specialized on the one hand with with Greg on just getting started, and of course that's a big part of what you know, even building your agency website. And we're going to be really uh, the the work that's going on behind the scenes with Eric Brief and Michael Teslona and Mohammadi, uh, Jason Kalori and Megan Lee and, and uh, Jen Giddon with, with David Mills and I, we're really, really focused. We have an upcoming uh, uh, workshop. It's gonna be called the Transformers Workshop and we're gonna really take you inside of that process. I know it's already spelled out in the Maps Rainmaker members area, but we're really gonna bring it to life for you with a great funnel and so forth. That's so much of the reason, and, and by the way, how Donnie did get his start, how Jason did get his start was with an agency. You know, th that's yeah. where they put up their chops built up their skills so so by the time and uh, greg's doing a lot of this now i mean greg's learning so much about e-commerce by doing agency work on these big you know he has the snow whitening people now yeah snow white yeah, yeah. um so uh so, so it's a great it's a great one to uh punch but you know before before you've gotten um you know your chops together you don't go like go charge off and build an authority site first it's just not it's just not going to be the best approach there's gonna be too much uh, it'd be like skipping. Um, this, this, this is what I would recommend for like beginners. Like start with the niche approach where you can focus on the gold site and then you get a couple of keyboard ranking, you get a deal and then you reinvest. And then over time, if you want to go to go to authority route, then you build an authority site. But like my thing is like, how can you make money the fastest way without like, like breaking a bank and then like putting all this money into a site and then it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Great. And and again, like like the, the awesome. approach to that is agency. There's just no question. Uh, you build your your paw, rank your paw. We're gonna really be showing you some tremendous funnel stuff. Um, but but this is boy, this is more than I possibly expected. And then one of the things that we're so fortunate is that we keep you know uh, Donnie's become you know an intrinsic part of our mastermind. He was right there, like literally uh, when we kicked off the cooked up in Amsterdam ma mastermind. Donnie was right there. You know, uh, we were on the phone with you know each other every day and meeting up, and you know it's uh, you know so Donnie's uh, kind of always around, and 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 when the timing is right, uh, maybe we'll we'll see if, if uh, Donnie's got another um, 
uh, coaching that he wants to do at some point could be really, really fantastic. But, you know, uh, Donnie's very timing oriented. So is David Mills. So, uh, but, but having this, this perspective that we're gaining on these authority sites, and this is so rich and enriching. Um, one, one of my responsibilities with Maps Rainmaker is to prepare you for traffic tsunami and for this really, really high level stuff. Um, and, and you can become, uh, you know, really immediately prepared. And, and that's what we're trying to do. Like, it's not that you have to go through some big preparation process and then join tsunami or director's cut. No, uh, we're really greasing the skid so you can just get in there right now and we're you know going to be making an especially big push in the next week for you to be aware of that and that's where you can start getting into that big time authority stuff you know have some niche success and then get into big time authority stuff you can also be piling questions on to the uh, uh to the facebook group since, since we had this rare opportunity with donnie i mean he's spoken so little at so few events he's given so little uh you know um so, so little of his wisdom out we've gotten so much of it so we feel just incredibly incredibly fortunate um okay so, so we, we've worked on we, we've worked on the header uh tremendously here um yeah. and, and i think we've got great guidance uh from donnie there yeah, then, then as we come down uh the, the header essentially is going to become you know very similar to greg's site where we're really explaining things now right. as we do start getting into graphics down the page do you like you know th this picture of gold or do you like you know a husband with his wife and they're taking a retirement walk or what what are the kind of you know imagery or optics that you think uh can be effective yeah so for me it's like i always start off with like testing right like you have to test the different images but like starting off with like a middle uh older couple that's on a beach or something like that something that uh draw the audience into what they're already like their reality and stuff so yeah mm, that's really interesting yep yeah and and then maybe uh you know maybe later on now do, do you get much into you know i'm a big fan of cut, making my own custom graphics or artworks or infographics do you get into much of that yourself or is that not something that you you really do much of uh not with this in that not with this particular industry just because like i said the the customer demographic is very like you just got to keep everything simple but other websites i have like custom graphics that i create and stuff just because uh a, a different audience and stuff so yeah but this this industry is very like the simpler you make this like it's even though it's hard to believe the better to convert <laughs> and greg greg knows that from like just some of the deals he's done like recently is like very basic. I can't believe another five hundred K. It generates like crazy, crazy money. Yeah. So. Amazing. Wow. I got two I got, I got two hundred pending with uh Gold Co and then five hundred with Augusta. So absolutely that's, unbelievable. Absolutely and same numbers. So guys, after like we're gonna figure out the situation with the with the header. And you know, with a conversa conversation, I'm gonna talk intensively do, do with Jason like, and also with Greg. Do, do you like all three together, or uh, maybe maybe the line by line approach? Well, like I said, it looks differently on mobile. Like mobile is not gonna look like that, but like I think how yeah. Greg has it set up, it, it fits mobile uh, responsibly. Like, yeah. I, like I'll, you have to think about desktop and mobile. So, so yeah. my so my Thrive designer. Well, that. So Everyone listens knows my Thrive designer. He has a table that shows for desktop and a table that shows for mobile, and it's two different mm -hmm. tables. So one's mobile response to the other one shows for desktop. So you, so you're fully you're you're trying to fully design from scratch one, fully design from scratch the other. Um, you're not looking to to you know just have one size fits all. Yeah, I mean he has a different table for desktop and a different table for mobile. One shows on a desktop and doesn't show on mobile. One shows on mobile and now on desktop. Okay, so so Mohammed, we can we, we can figure that out. And we don't have to yeah. like uh, I, I'm not promising that this uh, website template is going to be done by next week. Uh, just that yeah. it will be started by next week, which we got the jump on it because we really really got the start. Uh, really got the jump on it today. Okay, so uh -huh. um, uh, this is going to be uh, we're going short and sweet on this one because. Uh, Donnie has already been just unbelievably generous with his time on this. This is the, uh, I think, the third time we've had Greg uh, on on one of these incredible uh, Rainmaker webinars. So we're probably not going to see Greg for uh, uh, for a few weeks or maybe several weeks. Uh, but boy, uh, has he cut loose, and and it's been incredible. Uh, let's just go to uh, questions that people may have, and then we're going to wrap things up. So I'll, I'm going to look in the Facebook group. So this isn't going to be quite the, you know, the uh, it's just a different. It's just a different style, you know, kind of for suiting what we need. So if you want to shoot your questions uh, into the Facebook group, I'm going to jump on the uh, Facebook group via my uh, cell phone and see uh, uh, what we've got for our uh, for our party people. 
So mm -hmm. let's check this out, Fusion Laboratory. And uh, let's see, here we go, Mitch, Phil, yep, Dangerous Down, Groove, template, version. Uh, Mitch, yeah, I mean, anything that we can accomplish in, uh, in Thrive, we can we can port it over to Groove, and and I don't see why we couldn't provide that. That's absolutely uh, reasonable. So great, great point, Mitch. Mitch was really excited about this webinar because he's getting ready to put up his first uh, goal website. Let me check the go to webinar question box. Um, okay, so we've got um, Chris Andrews. Varied approaches discussed there. What approach approach did, did Jason use? So Jason, you, you would build sniper sites for very focused keywords. Is that correct? Yeah, like a little niche site, and then kind of under under the surface, it was like this backstory for the site was like being a buyer. So like my dad, I mean, I was like my 20s when I built that mid 20s. So using my dad's uh, experience with investment and his retirement from the post office, so then I kind of built the site out of that. So like the content and the why am I doing this? But it was just really simple. I think the most I spent was like $50 on a cool header and it was just a basic uh wordpress template so great ryan uh ryan says ryan uh crespi says you can have somebody from fiverr install thrive on your wordpress blog for very cheap good good tip there ryan uh ryan uh also said that's what my site is a new site so he was uh, uh talking about that that's great uh i don't know what f12 refers to muhammad uh sabir asked uh f12 Oh, F12 must have been for, that's how you see the mobile. That's what, uh, oh. oh, F12, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, uh, good looking out. Frank says, good oh. morning from Queensland, Australia. Good morning, good day. Good day there, uh, Frank. Great. Uh, and we have Boom Money Monday, Tracy. Yep, m money, uh, Donnie calls me Money Mike. So it's uh, Money Mike Monday. Uh, Mary said that her sound went out. Uh, you may have to reboot, Mary. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on that. So let me uh, check one last time on Facebook. Uh, I think that we uh, have, have covered all the questions and comments, but I'm, I'm so thrilled to have this uh, uh, now a part of um, you know, what's gonna be in your Rainmakers members area. And I think this is such a good way to help get you ready for the rest of the, uh, the Terminator workshop. We have two more episodes coming with, with Greg, Dan, and Joe. That's gonna be, I believe, Thursday and Sunday. Um, and I'm just super, super uh, excited about that. And what we uh, shared today, I think, was uh, just absolutely um, inspiring and, and unbelievable. Um, so uh, I want to thank everybody for jumping on. This is going to be available, and you know, we're going to really accelerate you into that Terminator uh, workshop, Terminator 2 and Terminator 3, right? And then uh, it's a great time this week to jump in on Traffic Tsunami with Greg, Dan, and Joe. That's your full personal coaching with them, where you're putting your uh, agency on steroids, putting affiliate on steroids. Uh, you know, David Mill says twice as much, twice as fast. Uh, it's a great way of looking at it. Uh, so thanks everybody for com coming on. And boy, uh, thank you, Donnie, for coming on. Thank you, Mahomedy, the preparation, both of you guys. Uh, and of course, Jason and, and Greg for being so generous. I mean, where could you, never has there been this kind of hitting power. I mean, has there ever been a training webinar, you know, with this kind of hitting power, short and sweet, super hard hitting, really got into funnels. Um, you know, thank you, Donnie. Yeah. Thank you, Donnie. Thank you, Greg. Yeah, thank and, Ma and mohammed has been working his butt off on this. Jason's been supporting him. Greg's been, it's it, like really, the way that this cooked up in Man Amsterdam Mastermind has come together. And, you know, Mohammed's working double time because he's also uh, every day been on with Eric Brief, uh, also with, with, with Jason Calori, uh, our miracle man. Uh, and, yeah. and working with Megan Lee uh, and, and Jen Gidden to get together a, a really similar kind of track. You know, this I, I think that this uh, Terminator workshop has really captured people's curiosity. I think it should, uh, and really gotten people going, gotten people accelerated, right, when it comes to affiliate. And likewise, uh, mohammed has been working double time. He's working on uh, an agency uh, a funnel, uh, personal agency website, uh, funnel template with Megan every day. He's been on with Eric. He's tomorrow. He's going to be uh, um, doing team calling with uh, with um, Eric and, Eric. and uh, Michael. Uh, Jason, if you want to jump on that, uh, it'll be uh, during domination coaching. But we'll we'll port that into uh, Rainmaker because what they're doing it's so brilliant behind the scenes. You're going to love it. So it's it's all happening. Uh, it's all happening blazing fast, and yet 
Um, and yet, you know, we're not in a rush here. We're not in a hurry. It just happens to be, you know, uh, David Mill says you can have fast, you can have easy, and you can have reliable, and but you can't have all three. So if you pick uh, fast and easy, it's not going to be reliable. You can pick uh, 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 fast and reliable, but then it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard, right? Uh, David says pick uh, easy and reliable, and sometimes it's fast anyways. And this is just one of those fast times. Yep. So uh, yep. tip of the cap to Donnie. We love seeing him. Uh, we're so grateful. Like, you know, he's been such an influence behind the scenes. You hear Greg bring him up all the time. You hear me bring him up all the time. Uh, now, now everybody knows why, and and hopefully um, we'll we'll get back uh, even more uh, with with Donnie, maybe inside a traffic tsunami a little bit more, and and uh, uh, you know at some point uh, we'll try to uh, twist his arm a little bit, or um, uh, you know maybe get him to to do another program. People absolutely loved uh, him at OMG Live, and people went crazy over Commission Conspiracy. That was so such a great moment of time. So glad we did that. All right, everybody, tip of the cap. See you on uh, you guys two weeks. Um, for the Rainmaker webinar, uh, and, and uh, by then we're, we're probably going to be transitioning, talking more about your paw and getting like more. But this week we're really going to have that that rock and sockum wrap up uh, on affiliate marketing. I have uh, a little bit more I'm going to get into over the next two weeks. I've got a real particular expert uh, coming in that's going to help a lot, and then from there we're going to really transition and focus on our agency, agency, agency. It's going to be exciting, and then we get, and then we're going to. I got more news from Jason Calori and e-commerce. It's it's going to be a wild, wild time. Jason's got uh, an additional workshop he's working on behind the scenes. Uh, it, it's an, uh, amazing that we still have time to play a video game somehow. All right, guys. Thanks a so bunch. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Appreciate Johnny and Greg, actually. Yep. Jason and Mohammed. Amazing webinar. Thank you, Johnny. Be safe. <laughs>